Today's K movie is Radio Star. I think this is the second time we're doing Ezunik's film. We talked about Nimun Mongose, Sunny, last time. This is 2006 Korean film directed by Ezunik. And uh, it stars Park jung Un and An song Gi as leading actors. It is a story about an aging, washed-up rock star. And the film was very popular, especially with its theme song, Piwa Dangshin. Once a superstar with musical words on his belt, rocker Choi Gun, played by Park jung Un, now sings in a rundown cafe. But an incident with one of the guests at the cafe has him end up locked behind bars. His manager for more than 20 years, Min Soo, played by An Sung Gi, makes a deal with the radio station producer to help Gon bail out and in exchange to have Gon DJ at a remote radio station in the suburbs. Reluctant to work at first, Chegun soon finds out that the little things matter the most and his attitude towards his power and manager Minsu gradually changes. After making Korean hi- cinematic history with his record-breaking hit film, King and the Clown, Wang and Amja, director Izunik wanted his follow-up to be a smaller scaled, character-driven film. Like the King and the Clown, he wanted his next film uh, to be also about the lives of outsiders, misfits, saying, I think the tragedy of capitalist society is that so many people endlessly struggle to become part of the mainstream. I want to keep showing that those outside the mainstream of society can also be happy. The screenwriter Che seok brought him a script he had been working on for years, and Che collaborated with Lee on his previous films, including King and the Clown and Once Upon a Time in a Battlefield. I think it's Pyongyang Song in Korean title. An early draft revolved around the character of a young female manager, but the studio executive pointed uh, Lee in a different narrative direction, and the film became a bittersweet dramedy about two older men, which, is, uh, which I think is an excellent shift. Park jung Un, the actor, he actually experienced the life of DJ himself in the 90s. He was cast first, and for the role, the manager, Park suggested his real-life longtime friend, An song Gi, with whom he had starred in three previous films, including Chil Su and Man Su, Chil Su and Man Su, Two Cops and Nowhere to Hide, In Jong Sa Jong Bol Kod Opta. An song Gi said, if we didn't sustain our 20-year friendship, actually, it is 35 years now, we could not have done justice to the touching scenes in Radio Star. The film has a cunning resemblance to our ordinary life, and while we were acting, we felt it first then. Park jung Un said that the project appealed to him because the film industry rarely focused on characters in their 40s and 50s. He's an aunt's age uh, back then. And that, as an actor for 20 years, he had had a similar career trajectory for uh, two guns. Because we went through similar things in the same period, then it's an analogy that works perfectly. I mean, I've had plenty of ups and downs in my career. Repeating the same comedies over and over brought me to a slump. I had to bridge the gap after coming back from the U.S., I had a little redemption. Many things happened over the years. He added that his friendship with Ahn has gained depth. We're much more comfortable working together. We've known each other for 20 years, and Che Gun and Park Min Soo in the film have been together for 20 years. The situation is a little different, but the fundamental relationship between us and the two characters is very similar. Sometimes we feel as if we're shooting a documentary in a way, but hey, we're happy. I love this interview because it's so heartwarming, you know? If actors are happy making the film, the film normally comes out great. And I think this is a perfect example for that. Members of real-life punk rock band No Brain appeared in supporting roles as a fictional band in this movie who helps the character Kun find enthusiasm 
for rock music again. They also contributed their songs to the soundtrack, which is a mix of old pop classics and modern rock. The film was filmed on location in Yeongwo City, a remote area in the mountainous Gangwon province, Gangwon-do. I think they still have some uh, film set in Gangwon-do, Yeongwo. So if you go, you can still see all those film sets. After three months of shooting, the film wrapped on July 8, 2006. And when asked about the film's themes, Lee j u n i k said, Before the advent of television, most people, including myself, learn a lot about life through radio. But these days, we depend on visual media. If visual media is regarded as a channel for spreading fully constructed images, then the radio can be seen as one that encourages people to use their imagination. Successful doesn't necessarily mean happiness, nor does failure mean unhappiness. Through this film, people will realize that there is more to life than winning or losing. What's important is that you live a happy life. He really is a uh, living example of his motto. He's a biker. He has like seven, eight motorcycles, and he always wears this cool leather jacket for film ceremonies. I wonder what's going to wear for Busan this year. Apart from beautiful chemistry between An Seung-gi and Park Chung-un, a major part of the movie's charm also stems from the supporting characters. Through the radio station job, c h e g u n learns to trim back his egocentric ways and put his fellow man into the foreground. Therefore, he offers radio listeners a chance to use his program as a mouthpiece. That way you get to know a lot of interesting or simply funny individuals that all in all make the movie more colorful and let the small town almost shrink to one giant family. Even though there's also when the movie loses some of its focus. Especially some of the gags are pretty nice though. This uh, well-balanced mix of light-hearted drama, humor and music makes I think Radio Star a heartwarming film. That is especially good because it works within a small frame. Arirang. 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 Arirang Radio. Other than his smashing hit film, King and the Clown, Wang and Namja, uh, Lee j u n i k is best known for Sunny, Nimun Mongose, which we talked about before, and Sammul, Hope, The Throne, Sado, which stars Yu a i n and Song Kang-ho, Dongju, the portrait of a poet, and The Book of Fish, which came out this year. And this film received numerous accolades, and actually this film will be rewarded Best Picture at this year's Busan International Film Festival. This film stars h e r g y u n g g u and p e n y o h a n It's about an exiled Joseon era scholar and a fisherman and their exchange of knowledge in a writing book. This is a very interesting movie. It's an independent production, but it's a must. Um, when it gets released, please check it out too.